Augusta McDonald was born in 1865 in San Francisco, the son of a prominent lumberman who built the first sawmill in the Bay Area. He later moved to Oakland and became a well-connected real estate entrepreneur. One fine day, Augusta McDonald and a group of friends decided to do some duck hunting in the vast marshes that surrounded the Point Richmond Peninsula. The ducks weren't flying that day, so McDonald decided to go for a hike and he climbed the nearest hill and from the top of the hill he, he could see how close, almost within reach, how close he, it was to the city of San Francisco and he realized the economic potential of a railroad ferry terminal at that spot. So in 1899 the Santa Fe Railway Company broke ground on their tunnel to reach that point of land at Ferry Point. Perfect spot for a railroad terminal where it could save 24 miles of, of freight hauling for the railroads. Augusta McDonald was a really savvy businessman. And so he knew that if he got the railroad to Richmond, everything would expand and, and blossom uh, from that. And so in 1901, John D. Rockefeller came out to the West Coast, scouting out areas to build his West Coast oil refinery for Standard Oil the precursor to Chevron. So he bought 600 acres for $68,000 and started construction on the oil refinery, which opened in October of 1902. In 1902, the Santa Fe Railway built their rail yards at the western end of what is now McDonald Avenue. Richmond was where all the jobs were. The refinery providing you know good paying jobs, the railroad jobs were here, the canning factories, it was, it was a major industrial hub, and McDonald Avenue became the main street of Richmond. And it was named after Augusta McDonald to give him homage for all the industrial and economic potential that uh, this great city had. In the first decade of the 20th century, the city of Richmond was really centered in the historic district of downtown Point Richmond, with the local businesses and, and houses that started to spring up around the rail yards. It was really the city center up until August 7th, 1905, when the city of Richmond was incorporated. After the city incorporation, the Barrett Ranch, all 500 acres of it, was purchased by Augusta McDonald with several associates, then subdivided the land into 5,000 lots to make sure that the city's economic center would be around his land. Southern Pacific built a train station at what is now the BART station, BART and Amtrak station at 16th and McDonald. The road was a, a mud, uh, dirt road up until 1909 when, they, when it was paved for the first time. And it became the main street of Richmond. Mechanics Bank has been a big influence along McDonald Avenue in uh, Richmond's history. They have always catered to the business community and have promoted business wherever they put in a branch. In 1929, during the Depression, many banks were having a run and people were going into the bank, lining up and taking all of their money out and then the banks were crashing. So Mr. Downer, he didn't want that happening in Richmond. So he called up the general manager of Standard Oil and he asked the general manager of the refinery to please come over to the 9th Street branch and let people know that their money was stable. And as people came in to take out their money, he would say, Mechanics Bank is safe. Just go home and relax. Your money will be here. After uh, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, during the uh, shipyard days when Kaiser was uh, building those 747 ships here in Richmond, we ended up growing by tens of thousands overnight. People were coming in to work uh, 24 7 in the shipyards and Richmond had seven movie theaters and they were going 24 7 people were going in there maybe not to just watch a movie but maybe to get a good night's sleep before they had to go back to the shipyards and the reason they were sleeping in the theaters there were no beds there, there was not enough uh, housing just as there is today Richmond was crowded with people going shopping trying to find a place to eat People were driving cars, 
Many were walking to the shipyards from downtown Richmond and the surrounding neighborhoods. So there was all type of activity, not just during the daytime, but 24-7. It was, it was crazy busy. McDonald Avenue was very bustling with all the stores that were there. And more and more people, they needed some place to shop because they didn't want to have to travel all the way to Oakland or Berkeley. So McDonald Avenue became the main commercial shopping district with uh, lots of uh, department stores, uh, movie theaters, and it was the main downtown for Richmond. At that time, it was 10th and McDonald. Going from store to store, going to the jewelry store, Macy's, Cress's, Woolworth's, J.C. Penney, and everybody went shopping after work. It was just a very, very fun time. One of the important things we have to understand is that McDonald Avenue has a very dark past. In the 1920s, it involved the Ku Klux Klan and their troubling parades through downtown Richmond. And in 1968, it involved arguably the worst riot in the history of Contra Costa County, when a black North Richmond teenager, Charles Mims, was chased, shot, and wounded by the Richmond police, which triggered days of civil unrest in downtown Richmond. I remember there were folks with guns and stuff set up during that very, you know, tumultuous time in the city. I was 11 years old and uh, there was a big furniture store on McDonald Avenue called Travellini's. And Travellini's was burnt to the ground uh, during, that, uh, during that same time period, you know, in the summer. Uh, yeah, it was, it was terrible. I think that because that summer of 68 and Bobby Kennedy getting uh, assassinated and that was in June of 68, Martin Luther King was April of 68 and uh, the downtown was getting a reputation for being a, a dangerous place to go and you had a lot of folks leaving Richmond because of feeling unsafe and shopkeepers were starting to feel that too. The state of the downtown, primarily along McDonald Avenue, was not good at all. There wasn't a lot of walking traffic, nor were there a lot of stores that you could shop at. A lot of stores were boarded up uh, there were a lot of vacant lots from buildings being torn down. McDonald Avenue needed a lot of tender loving care. The Richmond Redevelopment Agency was doing everything that it could to rejuvenate the downtown. Because everybody wanted to go to the shiny new fancy indoor mall because was, that was all the rage back in the 70s. I mean, total the opposite of the 24-7 robust economy that the downtown had during World War II. And so the, you know, the downtown had been, you know, uh, the scene of the race riots in the late 60s. You know, uh, people were starting to be afraid to go shopping there. You know, crime was on the rise. Um, and. It, Richmond unfortunately developed a reputation for you know, danger and high crime and, and so people were flocking to the suburbs and flocking to the malls and, and to do all their shopping and so the, the downtown McDonald's Avenue area went into decline. 